guys just a quick update on the vintage gaming PC all is not well but it is now now the problem I was getting was it was uh, never really that stable it would always crash when I was doing a benchmark or a uh, stress test like Prime 95 or something but I narrowed the problem down to the CPU now I tried uh, increasing the core voltage that didn't seem to work at all now the problem is well it's probably my fault uh, I thrashed the bollocks off this chip back in the day, so I think it's probably had it. There's uh, probably a case of electron migration going on inside the core. But anyway, all is not lost. In the parts bin, I've found... AMD Athlon XB2500 with the Barton core. Now the AMD Athlon XP2500 with the Barton core was quite uh, sought after back in the day because, uh, well, the multiplier was locked, but all you needed to do was bump up the FSP to 400 megahertz, and you've got yourself an XP3200 for a lot less dough. So let's see uh, how well this one works. I don't remember killing this one. Now this is taking me back. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Dude, I remember watching this so much, trying to get every last drop out of my old uh, Radio 9800. <laughs> I remember thinking that these used to look quite good. It's amazing how uh, things move on now. Your iPad's probably got better graphics than this now. Oh, well, back in the day, this was cutting edge. Whoa, DirectX 9, Shader Model 2. <laughs> Getting so nostalgic now. <laughs> It'd be rude not to. Oh, put your hand up if you can remember this. <laughs> uh, I think when I first ran this, I had a Radeon 8500, was it? Uh, I can't remember, it's that long ago. <laughs> oh, this is bringing back memories. This used to be the cutting edge of graphics. <laughs> Dude. Oh. So here's my old computer. It still chugs along quite nicely, but I've got that itch to upgrade. Uh, I haven't been following the current events, so I'm not really clued up onto what's what. So I'm asking you for some advice. The graphics card I'm looking at is a Radeon R9 390X, 8GB. Uh, the CPU I'm looking at is an i7-5820K with an MSI X99 Plus motherboard. Now I do realise I'm going to have to buy a DDR4 RAM for that. So is it worth... Well, is the... Uh, the Haswell Extreme worth paying the extra for the RAM than the older models. Obviously I'm going to get a solid state drive. I think I'm overdue for the solid state drive anyway. So uh, I'd, like, I'd be grateful to hear your thoughts on that. Thanks for watching.